Hello everyone, welcome to yet another tutorial. Today we are going to look at how to create a leg a rigging in Maya. For that we are going to create a simple ball character and I have added some eyes just for uh, making the front side different than the back side. Alright, so we will look at how to model the character, do some very basic texture mapping and then uh, the focus is going to be on modeling and rigging. So you can see that the texture map is not so great, but uh, real quickly I'll show you how to create some custom texture maps. And then if you look at the rig, you can see that the, you can move the character up and down. The character can look around. Okay, uh, you can select the entire rig and then scale it big and small. And you can place it anywhere you want move around uh, the leg can be animated okay uh, you can control the twist of the leg you can animate the heel then you can also animate the toe okay so this is a very simple rig and if you look at this uh, everything is at uh, zero so you can move the number to zero and make sure that the rig goes back to its original position okay so let us look at uh, how to model the character in this class and in the next class we'll look at how to rig the character so i will uh, save this file and open a new scene and we're going to start with a box and we are going to use three segments each to get started okay and then we will need a fourth segment not there not there either it's the weird one We'll make it four here because we can delete half of the character and work on the other half. Okay, so let us do that. Go to face, front view, and delete the half. Okay, so this is our character, and uh, now we will try to make a circle out of this. So before I delete, let me make the circle and then we will delete. And what I'll also do is uh, make this three each and then we will do it better so i'll go to vertex mode and select these vertices and scale it out okay then we'll select these vertices and scale it out so you get around and then select these and scale it out so you get around from all the sides and then we will select this we use the select tool select all these and scale them in okay so we create a sphere out of it All right. So if you hit the three key, you get a perfect circle. You can also use a circle to try to get it perfect, but I'm doing this very fast, so you can spend more time trying to get things uh, more circular. All right, so now what we're going to do is mesh tool, insert edge loop, and select the edge loop, and then go to face, and then delete. 
half of it. What's happening? Face. Face. Select half of the face. Delete it. I don't know what was the issue there. All right. So now we will extrude uh, the legs. So this is where the leg is going to come out and then we can make it a little smaller if you want. So shift, extrude down and shift, extrude down, object mode, we need to move our character up, I move it three units up, so if you are using my dimensions you know how exactly the same size character you will have okay so this is the knee joint here we'll scale it small this will be smaller and this is your hip mesh tool insert edge loop and we'll insert the edge loop so that we get like a square shape here Okay. and this is where we will go to face and shift extrude it out once and twice so this is our uh, toe and these are the fingers in the side view we can scale this small and then we can make this bigger if you want This can go back here a little bit and we will then select this and scale it outwards and the inside part will be more wider than the outside part. Okay, that's how we are, our feet are. Okay. And then we can go to Mesh Tool, Insert Edge Loop, and then we'll put a wedge loop there, and we can scale it straight. We can extrude it out from this side and this side. Okay, so that is our foot, and for the eye, I'm going to select the face. And we'll do the same thing actually, like we did for the leg. We'll shift it out once, shift it out twice. Control vertex, select these, actually one at a time. Want to make this straight. Want to make this straight. It's going to be small. It's going to be small. So the side view. This is going to rotate this way, this is going to rotate this way, move it in the front, Let's face, extrude it out, scale it straight and make it big. Okay, so that would be the eye. So in the perspective, for a moment longer. Okay, so we can extrude it out a little bit once. We can extrude it inside for the thickness. Then we inside extrude it inside once, and then extrude it inside one more time. Go to the side view here and scale it and then shift scale it one more time and make it small okay so that is the eye and it is not squarish 
so we can collect the whole thing here and make it a square depending on how big or how small you want it. Okay, now what we need is uh, some more uh, geometry at the joints. So I'm going to go to Edit Mesh, Mesh Tool, Insert Edge Loop, and we need at least three lines at the bend here, three lines at the knee, and then this is a long polygon, so we'll add maybe one here, we can try to straighten it out. And you can add one or two here okay and then you can add a few here if you want insert edge loop and then you can scale that edge loop in so eyes narrow okay so again in the foot we will need some more so mesh tool insert edge loop one here one will can put this direction one will be here one will be here Okay, and then if you want to keep the shape, you can put one here. Okay, try to get the proportions right. The foot shouldn't be small or big. The other thing about the foot is that this is in front. It's a matter of choice for the design of how the foot should look. This looks good enough for me. I don't waste too much time. Okay. And uh, what we will do is we'll go to Mesh Mirror to create the other side. Put this at minus. So we get that object and save it as ball character rig. So BC foot for tutorial. Okay, and then mesh smooth. And before I do that, I'll go to edit. Delete by type history.
modify these transformations while save okay so once everything is done we will then add mesh smooth so that we can change these later on for rigging purpose okay mm -hmm. so this is our character if you think it is too long then you can make the like shorter but i'm not going to bother with it right now this looks good enough for me so it has long legs all right so we'll create a cube and looks like 0.3 seems like a good number okay by the way we will name this character or if you want to give it a name this will be an i and the i will be again match smooth and we'll move it up and then we can make it smaller and move it inside one is enough because we'll have to unwrap it and then put it on the other side okay so the pivot in the center of the object that's about it so in the next class we will look at the rigging and texture mapping okay thank you very much